I am completely freaking devastated. She's not perfect. Hey everyone, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I am so excited and I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, but it's just kind of a busy week. Today, I am going to be reviewing this beautiful girl. Oh my gosh, she is wonderfully named Georgia Bloom because she's peach colored. Yes, she is. Now, I have to be really honest with you, I have not kept up with the Rainbow High episodes. I just completely just lost my way. I'm a lost sheep. I'm so sorry. So I don't know what's going on with any of these dolls as characters. So sorry about that. But Georgia is gorgeous. And so on the back of the box, we've got the series three gang right here. And it just feels like just yesterday we were waiting to see, you know, we were looking for sneak peeks and glimpses and now boom, they're here and they're at Walmart. And so a lot of people are asking, well, why can it, why are they only at Walmart? I'm assuming that Walmart just got, part of the deal was Walmart would have them first. Sometimes things launch as either a Walmart or a Target exclusive and they get like a two week to one month lead on the other retailers. And then I know like the um, Rockstar dolls are going to be an actual Target exclusive that you will only be able to find them at Target like they did with Kaya Hart. So they do stuff like that in, in, in the whole retail world. So Georgia, mm, Georgia. All right, so I am going to just dig in here to Georgia. So some of the cool stuff about series three, and there is so much cool stuff um, from what I've seen on Instagram, and I've been watching Elvira's reviews on the doll circle, I'm trying not to like, I'm, I'm like kind of like watching them with the sound off, sorry Elvira, because like I want to see the doll, but I also kind of want to uh, form my own opinions before I like, you know, watch them all the way through, although Elvira and I talk all the time too, so it's kind of weird, but, um, but I am just uh, really excited about some of the uh, improvements that have been made. Uh, I feel like there has been a lot of listening in terms of um, what Rainbow High and, and well, the company MGA have done. And um, I'm just ripping into this. So, okay, so parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, cool people who buy dolls for kids and themselves. Um, these are the newest Rainbow High dolls. Now it's really confusing because there's like a ton, a ton of different Rainbow High dolls out there. And there really isn't like a really good indication, you know, like if you're, if you're someone who doesn't know and you're trying to buy this for someone who does know what's going on, it's not like they say series three on them or anything like that. So you just really kind of need to know, um, that, uh, I would say go with, if it's not a primary color or something commonly found on the color wheel, like for instance, mint, peach interestingly enough a different kind of yellow a mustard yellow because sunny was yellow um then it's probably a series three doll ask people in the store ask people hanging out in the doll aisle um if you're watching this channel though you probably do at least um kind of check these things out if you're not a doll collector and you watch this channel you probably do check these things out before you go shopping so the other thing i would like to say is while i think that mga used their considerable financial power to get their containers um out of china um so that we can i am fits in which is yiddish for sweating um I th and so that they are going to have product right now leading up to the holidays on the shelves. Um, I just still think everybody needs to do their holiday shopping a little bit earlier. Um, I'm already hearing that because of shortages and because retailers do not expect, oh, I should keep opening the doll while I'm trying, because real retailers do not expect um, buying habits or patterns to be the same 
because of shortages and oh life with a pandemic and and stuff in general that they are um they're not going to be doing like sales exactly the same way that they would have done in previous years so if you're saying well i'm gonna wait until it's like super on sale or you know they have one of their big you know i'm gonna get bucks back sales or you know black friday i'm gonna be able to do buy one get one free that might not happen um so if this is stuff that's really on somebody's wish list, I would not wait on it if you can do it now. Um, like, I would not, certainly not wait until, like, November, December, for absolutely certain. Um, and, and, and now, and then the flip side of this is these will be on the shelves for a long time afterwards, but they might, might not show, like, they, we might not have stock again until after the holidays, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm very, I'm trying very carefully to remove the head portion of the doll because of one huge change that someone I love dearly pointed out to me last night, very excitedly. And uh, I was, I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome! Like, this is you being careful? Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, this is me being careful. Um. Oh my god. So sweaty. It's also super humid again because it's September. Like, I know everybody thinks that like right after Labor Day up north, we're like, okay, summer's over. No, because summer lasts. Summer keeps going. Summer can keep going way into October, so it just depends on the year. Sometimes it's over, like, before Labor Day, we're like, where'd the sun go? This year, not going to be like that. Okay, wait, let me not cut my finger. Okay. All right, so let me show you why I was being so careful, because I'm very excited about this. Oh, these dolls also come with a comb. With, with, with a comb. They come with a comb. Uh, they come with a stand. They come with a, a second outfit and a second pair of shoes. And um, the the stand, by the way, is in the box. So once you pull out the really cool little second outfit boxes that I love, don't woo, don't don't toss that because it's in here somewhere. There it is. It's 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 behind the it's behind the curtain. And hers is peach. So excited. Okay, are you ready to see the amazingness? So first of all, don't freak out that, you know, kind of loosely rooted. Wait, let me find my glasses. You flung them off the table, you doofus. Don't <laughs> got me a doofus. Did I really fling my glasses? No, I didn't. Ha ha. And you're, you, you don't need to adjust your monitor. My hair really is a different color. Okay. <clears throat> Look at her hair. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at those springy little curls. Look at those springy curls. Look at those beautiful springy curls that have no gel in them. My friends, I give you Georgia Bloom. I feel like there's nothing else that needs to be said once you see her. I mean, she's gorgeous. She is a perfect little Georgia peach. Look at her eyes. They're like a peach amber color. Her makeup is so subtle and beautiful. Her skin tone is just so warm and beautiful. And this hair is just like the perfect color. Like everything about her is just perfection. Like I cannot, I don't even get to complain about the hair. Like, not at all. And and the other thing is, I want you to understand, this isn't just one color. This isn't just one color. There's a lighter, there's like lighter streaks in here. And then there's deeper peach. But it's not just one color. So you also get the dimension 
that you get from having just slight variations in color in your hair. Um, she's breathtaking. She's she leaves me speechless every time I look at her. Oh my gosh. And this little sweater. Let's look at the little sweater. Let's look at the little shrug sweater, shall we? With the crochet and then the actual little like old lady buttons. And then she's got this cute little crop top with the peach on it, but it's also like a crochet, right? So we're getting that sort of old fashioned kind of vibe a little bit. And she's got these gorgeous low rise peach colored oh her she's still attached she's doing i can touch my hip um jeans on and they're like a twill and then they're cuffed and then she's got these shoes which i want i want these sneakers in the worst possible way they are the most delicate you notice i'm even speaking more quietly it's like i'm i'm just like in reverence and the gold i love the gold accents where is it the gold accents with the peach let me just let me just free her little hand here um i i i i yeah i mean really this is me right now i mean wait i need to check the nails oh look at me like on on a doll that like you know you could have just like, eh, all right, we're not gonna do nail polish. She's got very subtle peach nail polish on because that's what Georgia Bloom would wear. She wouldn't just, you know, be blowing it all out with something gauche and, and brightly colored when she's got this perfectly crafted, beautiful, oh. but then with her lips, she gives us that little bit of depth. And of course her eyes. I am emotionally attached to this doll. Now these dolls, in case you don't know, they're like totally articulated and all kinds of stuff. Also, um, the uh, series three Rainbow High dolls have a little bit, there we go. They got articulation in their heads, which is something we've asked for. But how many times in series one and series two, did we open a doll, particularly like Kaya stands out, um, Skylar, even, um, uh, what's her face? What's her face? That's great, Melissa. You don't even remember her name anymore. Um, 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 the one with the rainbow hair. Oh, dear God. I need more, I need, more. I was gonna say I need more alcohol. <laughs> Seriously, this early in the morning? I meant caffeine. Mm-hmm. Sure you did. Um, Amaya. Like, they just had so much product in their hair that even though there were beautiful curls, we were all just lamenting that we were going to lose those beautiful curls in order to get the gel out. And somehow, MGA managed to not just give us soft, beautiful hair, but to give us soft, beautiful curls. I am just absolutely just floored. Now I'm trying to make her stand on her own, which can be a little bit hard. You gotta kinda, they sort of have to be at an odd angle because I wanted to open this stand here, but you can tilt your head up, right? Can you tilt your head up without falling over? No, as soon as I tilt my head up, then I start to go. Okay, let's, let's try to, can you like, can you do King of the World maybe and try to stand up? Just sit me down. Cause I don't wanna lay her down on her hair. That's what I, I don't want to do. So did you know that there is a song with my name in it? There's a couple, there's a, there's a couple of very odd songs with my name, but there is a song with my name in it. There's a song named after me. There's a song by the Almond Brothers called Sweet Melissa. You're like, what on earth does that have to do with Georgia Bloom? Name of the album the song is on, Eat a Peach. There you go. That was my connection to Georgia. <laughs> Like, wow, you really reached for that. I really did. But we are connected in many ways. So the stand is also a beautiful translucent peach color. And I tried with my makeup to go like a little peachy. Um, it's hard because I'm still trying to figure out the makeup situation with my hair. Um, 
my hair will, by the time I figure out how to do my makeup with this hair, my hair will have lightened up again because it's just, we did it dark because it fades um, and it fades fast. So this is already probably one level up from where it was on Tuesday when we, we, we first did it. So um, huge shout out to Waves salon in uh, Cranford. They just opened. So if you are in New Jersey and you are looking for uh, people who do like hair just amazingly. And by the way, they have the coolest shampoo chairs. They're actually comfortable. They recline. They have a, an electric like like recline, like a like a power recline. And then while you were reclined and getting like your foils out and your hair washed and all of that different stuff, and whatever processes you need to have done while in the chair, it's a massage chair. I've never experienced comfort while being in a salon chair having my hair washed before. Usually you're just like, oh, please be over. And at the same time, you're like, oh, it feels so good when they're massaging my head. But then you're like, stop my neck. No, not at all. So Wave Salon in Cranford. Absolutely beautiful. They're on um, Centennial Avenue. So totally, they did not pay me. I am just saying, look at what they did to my hair. I love it. And I was comfortable. So this is Georgia in her first outfit. And now her second outfit, basically, I'm going to need another Georgia. <laughs> We're going to need another, a bigger boat. We're going to need another Georgia because I know I'm going to love this outfit. But I'm going to wait because I don't want to like buy up all the Georgias when I know other people are out there looking for her. So I am going to dress Georgia in her second outfit. I'm also going to go put on more blush because I am looking at myself in the monitor here. And, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm okay. Am I okay? I'm okay, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's all good. Okay, it's just that I'm just not used to having dark hair, so everything looks too light. Okay, so I'm gonna get her dressed in her second outfit. I am going to just be like, oh my gosh, I am not worthy to even dress you. And then I will be right back. I am completely freaking devastated. She's not perfect. I'm sorry. So here's the situation. <clears throat> Her second outfit has pearls on it, which is totally, totally the right thing to do for a Georgia peach, for our Georgia bloom here. Pearls, totally the way to go. The problem is that they're falling off. Not all of them, just some of them. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that I cannot, and I thought it was a failure of my own because I am more than willing to be the cause of the failure in situations like this. But, <clears throat> so first of all, this outfit's adorable. Okay, let me just, let me just backtrack a little bit. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Am I, wait, my camera got crooked somewhere along the way. Am I, still probably down the road gonna get another Georgia and put her in this because it's freaking adorable? Probably, yeah, but I'm gonna wait until it goes on sale um, because the pearls fall off. Now, now, parents, you're not gonna give a crap about that and your kids are not gonna give a crap. They're gonna love this doll, let me be clear. Collectors, you're gonna love this doll because we already all do just from looking at the pictures of her, we love her, but Here's the thing. So, oh, here we go, there she is. Oh, let's just all look at her again. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so this top is actually two pieces. So it's this bustier with, look, look, I mean, you know, we just love the attention to detail. These are not screen printed on these little plastic things. And then underneath it, look at the gold hardware, right? Underneath it is another it's like a, it's like almost like a sports bra type thing that goes underneath it. They're actually two pieces. Now, they are joined together by a little piece of thread when you unbox them. I tried putting it on by using, uh, keeping it attached with a little piece of thread. By the way, first of all, let's look at the purse. It's 
perfect. And it's got the little rainbow high RHs on it. I'm, I'm assuming this whole thing is Louis Vuitton, but you guys can totally correct me because this is the part of Rainbow High that I don't get. The other thing that's really cool is that this material is like, is like pleather, you know? It's like leathery, which is kind of cool to go from that crochet look. But then she's got this lace down here, right in between the two sections of leather with the pearls. And I'm, now I'm singing leather and lace in my head. Um, and But then... You can see here along the back, as I was dressing her, I started to lose some of these pearls. I also lost, so this is a very, very nice touch on the little rosettes, or I think these are peach blossoms. Let's be real, Melissa, they're not rosettes. It's funny, I'm like holding it up to L LCD screen instead of the, uh, you can see there's little tiny pearls. That is amazing attention to detail, it's beautiful. Be very careful when you dress her because I lost them off of the peach blossoms as well. So, and then her shoes, the shoes are cute. I mean, this is a total just, head to toe, rainbow high, just logo look. And I love it. Excuse me, my nose is itchy. Now, um, I'm going to take off the first piece of the top. The great thing about this was that she was really easy to dress in the second outfit. I didn't have to take off any hands or anything. By the way, parents and adults and people who are, who've never had any of these dolls before, they're very easy to dress and undress because their hands pop off intentionally and then you can pop them back on. So this is the shirt or the bustier or whatever you want to call this that goes underneath and so I've been trying to center it under the other top and and could not get it to do so and I couldn't get it to be even until I realized that it's crooked much like my lips one side is lower than the other so there was no amount of zhuzhing. I'm thinking that perhaps I could, wait, let me take this off, but I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm thinking that perhaps with some double stick tape and patience, I could fix this. But as you can see, it's not perfect. Oh, oh God, I almost knocked Georgia off the table. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, so it's okay. It's okay, and it's not anything that a kid is gonna notice. Um, as a collector, I'm fine. Like I said, I still want this other outfit um, on another Georgia. I really do, because really, I mean, do you really, really, like, if I didn't point it out, would you notice it? Um, I love this, this whole, um, logo, 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 logo thing going on here. I love the gold accents. I just love the softness. I love the peach, but I love that it's like a pinkish peach. Um, and that she's got this, like, she's got, you know, I said that it was warm skin, but it's really interesting because she's, she's tan with a peach undertone, well, not with a pink undertone, really not exactly a peach undertone. And it's like a peachish, pinkish undertone to her skin. I mean, isn't peach just a pinkish, light orange? I mean, at the end of the day, isn't it? I don't know. Um, she's amazing, amazing. I will display her in her original outfit for now. You hate me. No, sweetheart, I don't, I don't. But, and I will down the road when she goes on sale, I will, or if I can get the, well, you know, I will, cause I want, I do want to display her in both. Cause I did that with Amaya. There's a couple of dolls. I have Bella, actually I have Bella dressed in something that isn't even hers entirely. Um, I have two Bellas. There's a couple of them that I have two of, um, because I just really, really liked them. And, uh, she's definitely a doll that I'm, I'm going to want two of. And I might even do something where like the other one, like I gather up all of those curls and sort of do like a big like thing like that. But, um, but the first outfit is definitely my favorite. So comment down below if you have found Georgia and if you have had any issues with outfit number two or outfit number one for, for that matter. Um, how's the search going? Because I have to this point, I have Georgia, I have Cheryl, 
And I have, I think I have Emmy. I think that's it. I think those are the only ones that I have so far. So uh, the search continues for the rest of the Series 3 crew. And that's kind of fun because it's been a long time since I've really had to search, you know, uh, and doll hunt as the case may be. So let me know what you think of Georgia. I love her. Honest to God. Love her. Love her. Love her. Um, and I feel like we all do, really. Don't we all kind of love her? So uh, let's talk about it in the comments. Let me know if you have any uh, issues of quality or pearl droppage. And I will see you again real soon. Love you. Bye.